The first thing to make sure of when you're playing finger cymbals is make sure that the elastic is nice and tight on your fingers. If your finger's turning a little bit purple, but it's not in pain, then that means the elastic is tight enough. And that just helps you avoid the risk of them becoming throwing stars as you're dancing. Cymbals go on your middle finger and your thumb. I wear my cymbals kind of right below the cuticle. Some folks wear them on in between these knuckles and both are correct. It just depends on what you're more comfortable with. And you hold single hold symbols and double slotted ones a little bit different just because of the wobble factor involved in the single hold type. Uh, but a lot of folks feel more comfortable learning on the double slot kind uh, because of the wobble factor on the single hold, but the single hold can be a lot of fun. And it just kind of depends on where you're at in your finger symbol journey. We're going to start with three basic sounds that you can make on either style of cymbal. First, turn down the volume and remove headphones if you're wearing them. Cymbals are loud and I would advise you to wear earplugs when you're practicing or use crochet mufflers or baby socks, especially if you're practicing in an apartment. Remember, you can play with mufflers on to practice getting the patterns into your muscle memory, but I would also suggest playing without them so that you can learn to make the sounds when you want them to, the way you want them to. A ring corresponds to the doom sound on the drum. Although it's high pitched, the sound is sustained. You make it by hitting the cymbals off center or making a snapping motion. You want to strike and pull the cymbal apart to allow them to ring. And you can play it loudly or quietly depending on how you hit the cymbals. I have one style of cymbal on each hand, just to demonstrate how they can sound a little differently. The clap is the equivalent of tech on the drum. It's a short sound played by striking the cymbals flat and holding them together for a short moment. You can further muffle the sound by putting your ring finger and pointer finger onto the cymbals. The last sound that we typically use when playing is called the tick, and I think of it like tickling the cymbals. You can turn the thumbs in and make sort of a T shape and tap onto the thumb symbol with the middle finger symbol. It's useful for quiet segments. Remember, you should leave some parts of the song without any cymbal ornamentation, but this quiet sound is still very useful. While playing, it's okay for your hands to roll through different positions, but you want your default to be playing with your arms open and your wrists straight. It can be an easy habit to develop poor posture and crunched up wrists when you're focusing on the cymbals instead of your body, especially if you're practicing sitting down. Remember to practice with the cymbals as part of your whole dance. We'll start by practicing hitting the cymbals on the beat. Put on a simple drum track and walk with good dance posture. Keep your arms open and wrists mostly straight. Each time the one happens, take a step and hit the cymbal. Your foot should hit the ground at the same time as your cymbal strikes and at the same time as the drummer strikes the drum. this 
this with the different sounds you learned. Practice hitting on just your dominant hand on the downbeat and your non-dominant hand on the and in between counts. Practice alternating left, right, left, right each step. the dominant hand method. Think back to learning about how shimmies fit with the beat. The count of music has a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a and so on. For the dominant hand method, I hit the symbol of my dominant hand on the down beats and usually the up beats. That is the numbers and the and. There are some patterns that will be an exception to this, but none that we'll learn at this level. The first pattern is called running singles, and you play it by simply alternating hits between your dominant hand, in my case my right, and your non-dominant hand. So it will sound like this. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. practicing this while walking to the beat. Remember your posture and keep your cymbals, feet, and the drum linked. practice will make the dominant hand method make more sense. It's called gallop and it's played by hitting the dominant hand on the and one and the non-dominant hand on the ah. Uh. Some dancers will think of this as threes and count it as one, two, three. But it's important to note that this is not counting the beat. It is counting the cymbal hits. So the symbols actually line up with the music like this. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. You'll notice that I'm not hitting my non-dominant hand as often. This method uses your natural ability to move your dominant hand more quickly, since the E's and the U's of a beat are more likely to be left out of a pattern. Liz demonstrates how to play the gallop as you walk.
simple repeating drum tracks to make it easier to hear the beat. Try playing to your favorite belly dance songs. It's a good idea to start practicing these patterns while performing basic isolations. Combining the practice you did walking with how your weight shifts during each move will help you stay in time with the music. More advanced patterns are made by combining running singles, gallops, single hits, and empty spaces. We'll learn more patterns in level two, and you want to learn about the circular notation rhythm that we also use in level two. You can sign up for our email list to get access to that for free. If you're watching this to get ready for level two classes, you only need to come to class able to play running singles and gallop with a medium degree of comfort. One last trick before we go. To take your cymbals off quickly and easily, fold your thumb in like you're about to play the tick, catch it in the palm of your hand, fold the middle finger on top and pull your fingers out. Happy practicing.